10 Phrases People Use to Control You Have you ever felt like someone was trying to manipulate you into doing or believing something that you didn't want to? Have you ever felt like someone was playing with your mind and making you doubt yourself? If so, you might have been a victim of a form of psychological abuse called control. Control is when someone tries to influence your thoughts, feelings, actions, or decisions without your consent or awareness. Control can be subtle or overt, intentional or unintentional, but it always has a negative impact on your well-being and autonomy. One of the ways that people try to control you is by using certain phrases that are designed to manipulate your perception of reality, your emotions, or your behavior. These phrases are often disguised as expressions of concern, affection, or advice, but they are actually meant to undermine your confidence, make you feel guilty, or coerce you into doing something that you don't want to do. By being aware of these phrases, you can protect yourself from being controlled and assert your boundaries. You can also recognize if you were using these phrases yourself and stop yourself from controlling others. Here are 10 of the most common phrases that people use to control you and how to respond to them. Number one, you're too sensitive. This phrase is often used to invalidate your feelings and make you feel like you are overreacting or being unreasonable. The person who says this is trying to avoid taking responsibility for their actions or words that hurt you and make you feel like the problem is with you, not them. They are also trying to discourage you from expressing your emotions or needs and make you feel ashamed of them. The truth is, you are not too sensitive. You have the right to feel whatever you feel and to communicate it to others. Your feelings are valid and important, and they deserve respect and empathy. If someone hurts you, they should apologize and try to put it right, not blame you for being hurt. Number two, you don't know what's good for you. This phrase is often used to undermine your judgment and make you feel like you are incompetent or ignorant. The person who says this is trying to impose their opinions or preferences on you and make you doubt your own decisions or choices. They are also trying to make you dependent on them and make you feel like you need their guidance or approval. The truth is you do know what's good for you. You are the expert on your own life and you have the right to make your own decisions or choices even if they are different from what others want or expect. You have the ability and the responsibility to take care of yourself and to learn from your own experiences. If someone wants to help you, they should respect your autonomy and support your choices, not dictate them. Number three, you should be grateful. This phrase is often used to make you feel guilty and make you feel like you are not appreciating what you have or what someone has done for you. The person who says this is trying to manipulate you into feeling obligated or indebted to them and make you feel like you have no right to complain or ask for more. They are also trying to make you feel like you are being selfish or ungrateful and make you feel bad about yourself. The truth is, you should be grateful, but not for the wrong reasons. You should be grateful for the things that genuinely make you happy or improve your life, not for the things that make you unhappy or harm your life. You should be grateful for the people who genuinely love you and respect you, not for the people who abuse you or disrespect you. You should be grateful for yourself and for your own achievements and efforts, not for someone else's. Number four, you're being paranoid. This phrase is often used to deny your reality and make you feel like you are imagining things or being irrational. The person who says this is trying to hide their lies or secrets and make you doubt your own observations or intuition. They are also trying to make you feel like you are being unreasonable or unfair and make you feel guilty for questioning them or confronting them. The truth is, you are not being paranoid. You have the right to trust your own senses and instincts and to seek the truth. Your observations or intuition are often based on valid evidence or experience and they deserve attention and investigation. If someone is lying to you or hiding something from you, they should admit it and apologize, not accuse you of being paranoid. Number five, you always, this phrase is often used to exaggerate your behavior and make you feel like you are being consistent or extreme. The person who says this is trying to criticize you or blame you for something and make you feel like you are always wrong or never good enough. They are also trying to make you feel like you are being stubborn or unreasonable and make you feel hopeless or helpless. The truth is, you are a complex and dynamic person and your behavior is not always the same or always predictable. 
You have the right to change your mind or your actions and to learn from your mistakes or successes. You have the ability and the opportunity to improve yourself or your situation and to grow as a person. If someone wants to give you feedback or advice, they should be specific and constructive, not general and destructive. Number six, you're just jealous. This phrase is often used to belittle your feelings and make you feel like you are being insecure or petty. The person who says this is trying to avoid acknowledging your concerns or complaints and make you feel like you are being irrational or immature. They are also trying to make you feel like you are being competitive or possessive and make you feel ashamed of yourself. The truth is, you are not just jealous. You have the right to feel whatever you feel and to communicate it to others. Your feelings are not necessarily a sign of insecurity or pettiness, but a sign of care or passion. You have the right to expect loyalty and respect from others and to express your boundaries and needs. If someone hurts you or betrays you, they should apologize. Number seven, you're just like your mother. This phrase is often used to insult you and make you feel like you are inheriting or repeating the flaws or mistakes of your parents. The person who says this is trying to hurt your self-esteem and make you feel like you are doomed or hopeless. They are also trying to make you feel like you are being disloyal or ungrateful to your parents and make you feel guilty or angry. The truth is, you are your own person and you have the right to be who you are, not who someone else wants you to be. You have the right to love and respect your parents or to distance yourself from them depending on your relationship with them. You have the right to learn from your parents or to unlearn from them depending on what they taught you. If someone wants to insult you or your parents, they should keep it to themselves, not throw it at you. Number eight, you're lucky to have me. This phrase is often used to make you feel like you are unworthy or undeserving of the person who says it. The person who says this is trying to boost their own ego and make you feel like they are doing you a favor by being with you. They are also trying to make you feel like you are dependent on them and make you feel afraid of losing them. The truth is you are not lucky to have them. You are worthy and deserving of love and respect, and you have the right to choose who you want to be with. You are not doing them a favor by being with them, you are doing yourself a favor by being with someone who makes you happy and supports you. You are not dependent on them, you are independent and capable of taking care of yourself. If someone wants to be with you, they should appreciate you and cherish you, not take you for granted and threaten you. Number nine, you're not the person I fell in love with. This phrase is often used to make you feel like you have changed for the worse and make you feel like you were disappointing or betraying the person who says it. The person who says this is trying to resist or reject your growth and make you feel like you have to stay the same or go back to how you were before. They are also trying to make you feel like you were losing their love or approval and make you feel sad or guilty. The truth is you are not the person they fell in love with. You are a better person and you have the right to change and grow as you please. You have the right to explore your identity and potential and to express your authenticity and creativity. You have the right to love and accept yourself and to expect the same from others. If someone loves you, they should love you for who you are, not for who they want you to be. Number 10. I'm sorry, but... This phrase is often used to fake an apology and make you feel like you are being forgiven or understood. The person who says this is trying to avoid the consequences of their actions or words and make you feel like they are sincere or remorseful. They are also trying to justify or excuse their behavior and make you feel like you are partly or wholly responsible for it. The truth is they are not sorry. They are only sorry that they got caught or confronted and they have no intention of changing or making amends. They are only saying sorry to get you off their back, and they have no respect or empathy for your feelings or needs. They are only trying to manipulate you into accepting their apology, and they have no accountability or integrity. These are some of the common phrases that people use to control you. By being aware of these phrases, you can protect yourself from being controlled and assert your boundaries. You can also recognize if you were using these phrases yourself and stop yourself from controlling others. However, it all depends on the intent for which they are used, so be aware. Remember, you have the right to be yourself, to feel your feelings, to make your choices, and to live your life. Don't let anyone take that away from you. You are in control of you. 
Remember, manipulation can happen in any kind of relationship with your partner, your family, your friends, your boss, or even strangers. Sometimes, the person who is controlling you might not even realize what they are doing, or they might justify it as a way of helping you or protecting you. But the truth is, control is never healthy or helpful. It is always harmful and disrespectful. For more videos like this, like, hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.